this video, we're going to be providing an overview of the Risk Recon Connector. As we can see here, we have an example dashboard that can be created for our customers to show the data that's being integrated between Risk Recon and Process Unity. To go over these examples, we can see a report that shows the number of vendors that have an integration point between the two systems. We can see here a breakdown of the Risk Recon overall rating. Down below, we can see across the whole portfolio of vendors that are being monitored, the breakdown by each of the different areas inside of Risk Recon. And over to the right, we can see the bottom performers that are being monitored by Risk Recon, as well as the top performers within the portfolio. Now, to dive into the data, we're going to go ahead and click on Microsoft. Once navigated to the third party record, we're going to be presented with the lock properties established for this Risk Recon connector. Going through these properties, we're going to see a high level overview in this top area of this section of the TOE ID, which needs to be identified in order to pull back the information into Process Unity from Risk Recon. Uh, we're going to be presented with the TOE short name, which is the name of the third party as displayed inside of Risk Recon, as well as the subscription type. Now, for this Risk Recon update flag, once that TOE ID has been established, this update flag controls the data flowing in between Process Unity to Risk Recon. So if this is set to yes, whether it is through a uh, manual clicking of the button, this screen button step, you can set up automated actions to screen off of an event inside of the system, or through the nightly processing job, this controls that integration of do we want to pull data back into Process Unity? As we can see here, there's a timestamp of 2.28 AM. Now this was, because this update flag is set to yes, this data has been updated as part of the nightly job process. We can see here 9.22 is the date of this morning where the risk recon last update date says 9.20. This property shows when the last time risk recon has updated their data. In addition, we have some other identifiable information like the DUNS number uh, from Dun and Bradstreet as part of a data point that's brought in through this integration. Now, to show the screening process, I'm going to go ahead and click on this task, uh, this button group here, and then screen. As you can see here, the screen has been completed, and it is now the exact time of 10. 46, although the data did not change, as we can see the last updated date remains the same. As I navigate lower, we're going to be able to see each of the domains that are brought in through the integration from Risk Recon. We can see that all of the domain and the overall rating is on a scale from 0 to 10, and then it's broken up into different criteria, and we represent that through the colors inside of the user interface here. In addition to each of the ratings of the particular domains, if any users have access to Risk Recon as well as Process Unity, you can go ahead and click on this link and it'll bring you right into that specific domain uh, criteria inside of Risk Recon for a deeper dive. Now, there are nine different uh, risk domains that are brought in through this integration. So each of these can be used in different um, methodology decisions or downstream workflow, such as issue creation or mapping to assessments and so forth. Now, how do we get that toe ID populated inside of this third party record in order to bring in this data? So what we have is an opportunity to use the search and select form that integrates the searching capabilities of vendors inside of Risk Recon. So we can see here domain name, and this is the parameter that we're able to choose. So if I chose Microsoft.com and I apply this filter, we will see a list of candidates that are returned. Now in this search and select, we can see who we are already subscribed to by seeing uh, subscribed here, as we can see, Advisor and Discover, 
For this company, we have Microsoft Azure. You can click on the domains to see all the applicable domains and so forth. For the example of this video, I'm gonna click one that's not subscribed yet. You're gonna be able to see here the folder selection. These are folders that are identified inside of Risk Recon that could trigger downstream workflow. So these can be set once a selection is made and you haven't been subscribed yet. If I were to click on Discover, you'll see that we won't have that opportunity to do so. You will know who you are uh, have selected by this chip down here. And you can always review the details by hovering over this chip. Another area of the process, if this was an unsubscribed uh, third party inside of Risk Recon, you also have that opportunity to select the subscription type of Snapshot, Discover, and Advisor. Now, once that selection has been made, you can go ahead and click OK, and it will automatically populate that TOW ID, which is that integration point in order to set up your cadence of bringing data into Process Unity. Now, this particular step can be used in the onboarding process in order to start the integration between Process Unity and Risk Recon. And as far as these values go, this will continuously be brought into Process Unity throughout the life cycle of this third party.